Welcome to Salinas Valley Memorial Healthcare Systems Ask the Experts. I'm Claudia Otero. We're starting 2022. It's some great uh, news. We're focusing on health and wellness and of course the Blue Zones Project. Joining us today is Tiffany DiTullio. Tiffany is the Executive Director of the Blue Zones Project Monterey County. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. We're excited to be here. For those of you out there I should say who may not know too much about the Blue Zones Project, can you give us an overview about this great program that it's community driven? Absolutely. So Blue Zones Project is a community-wide well-being initiative designed to create an environment of sustainable wellness within communities. So when we work in communities, we really work to engage the community in taking part in creating that environment. Fortunately for Monterey County, Salinas Valley Memorial Healthcare System reached out to Blue Zones Project and initiated a site visit that happened in 2018. Mm -hmm. As a result of that, so many people were excited about the project. What was originally intended to be Blue Zones Project Salinas became Blue Zones Project Monterey County with the engagement and support of Salinas Valley Memorial Healthcare System, Taylor Farms, and Montage Health. So we have these entities that are supporting this great program and that's very exciting. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that a little later in terms of what is happening throughout Monterey County. Um, a little later in this program, we're going to tell you at home how you can actually win one of these Blue Zones Project books. One of them is the Blue Zones Solution, written by Dan Butner. It's uh, eating and living like the world's healthiest people. And this one right here, which I think is my favorite, Tiffany, and I think it might be yours too, is the Blue Zones Kitchen. Uh, it features hundreds of recipes with fantastic photos. So really easy to follow at home, right? And just uh, make the easy choice a healthy choice. Or So I think you might have some favorite recipes. I do. What I love about this cookbook is it does make the healthy choice the easy choice. So essentially they take recipes that you would normally eat, like a minestrone soup. This one in particular has the recipe done three different ways. You can do a traditional minestrone, you can do a minestrone with lentils, and you can mix it up. And I like that all the ingredients are things that you would normally have at home. It's not some obscure ingredient that you're gonna use one time and never use again. So lots of favorite recipes in this book. Good, so a little later, we're gonna tell you how you can actually win one of these, so please stay with us. Now, as you mentioned, Tiffany, the Blue Zones Project is about living better, longer, and making the, the healthy choice, the easy choice, no matter where we live. So let's learn a little bit more about this concept. What's the secret to longevity? In certain places around the world, people don't have to try to live longer. They just do. Doesn't that sound nice? National Geographic explorer Dan Buettner wanted to know why. What about these places? These blue zones made people live longer. I'm going to talk to you about exploration and discovery. What he discovered was a set of common traits he called the Power Nine that might just hold the key to living a longer, healthier life. ShareCare's Blue Zones Project brings the Power Nine to you, empowering you to improve your well-being with these small steps by making healthy choices easier, no matter where you live. So how can you live a Blue Zones lifestyle? Think about it like this. Your environment and lifestyle are huge factors in determining how long you live. And every day we make hundreds of seemingly mindless decisions that affect our health. But self-control only gets us part of the way there. Eventually, we need to improve our surroundings too. ShareCare and Blue Zones Project are doing just that by developing a list of best practices for people, places, and policymakers to better create healthy environments. You don't have to live on the coast of Greece or in the mountains of Italy to be healthy. And you can live longer without running marathons all the time. The Blue Zones Project is all about making small changes wherever you are. And it's nothing complicated. Simple things like adding nutritious foods to your plate, reducing stress, surrounding yourself with friends and family, and moving more throughout your day. Whether you're in school, at the grocery store, or on the job, We've got you covered with small changes that can help you eat better, move more, connect with others, and live longer. Communities we work with are already reaping the benefits because we work directly with community leaders to create sustainable, localized change. These small changes lead to huge benefits, not only in terms of economic impact, but more importantly, in building a better place for all. You'll be on your way to living a longer, healthier life. 
Well, we just learned a little bit about the Power 9. What's your favorite? Oh gosh, I have a lot of favorites of the Power 9, and, and for those people who don't know, the Power 9 is essentially the nine commonalities found in all five of the original Blue Zones that are believed to help people live longer better. So I have two favorites. One is downshifting. And, and I always laugh when I say downshifting because people think, well, that must be meditation or yoga. And really downshifting is whatever it is in your normal daily life that kind of recenters you and brings you joy. So for me, that would be hiking or walking with my dog. That's my downshifting. And then family first. I think it's such an important thing to give that gift of time to your family. So those are probably my two favorites. Okay. I also joke about wine at five, but... <laughs> Okay. I think I'll stick with downshift. Downshift. Okay. What about your colleagues and maybe even the volunteers? Is there a favorite among them? Well, I think for our volunteers, their favorite Power Nine is really that connection and that right tribe. So finding something in their community that makes them feel like they're part of something. I, I know when we talk to our volunteers, especially the volunteers who have been in it since the inception, really what they love is they feel like they found their tribe, that they found the people that they enjoy spending time with and giving back to their community and creating that connection uh, brings value to them. For our team, I know natural movement is a huge piece of everybody on the team. We all enjoy hiking or mm -hmm. going to the beach or even doing what we would consider like an urban hike. Uh, around our office areas. So I would say natural movement is probably pretty close to the top for the team. Okay, good to know. And hopefully you at home will get to have your own favorite Power Nine. Um, I want to go back to the beginning, Tiffany. You know, the Blue Zones Project Monterey County, as you know, was launched in the summer of 2019. A lot has happened since then. It's It was launched in Salinas, right? Mm -hmm. So, and, and it has now been expanded to South Monterey County and the Peninsula cities. Um, before we go any further, I do want to show another video because I think it just touches on that, but also on um, health. And Joanna, Dr. Joanna Oppenheim explains that really beautifully. The people I know in Salinas, it's a real community. I guess that's the feeling that I have the most. It's kind of interesting to me that we live in the salad bowl of America, and so many people here don't get the recommended amounts of fruits and vegetables. My name is Joanna Oppenheim. I'm a family physician working in Salinas, California. So what we're seeing is almost 50% of our population is either diabetic or pre-diabetic, and that number might even be higher. I am really excited that the Blue Zones project is coming to Salinas because I think that it would help support my patients once they leave my office in building healthier habits such as improving their diet, increasing their movement, increasing their connectivity to their environment and the people living in our community, which I know will improve their overall health. If we spend some time at the end of our day, kind of downshifting, relaxing, slowing down, um, having some fun, um, that can really be beneficial in terms of long-term health. And I think that's where the Blue Zones project is going to become integral for a city like Salinas. And if you have a community and you have people that support healthy eating, that support movement, that understand, yeah, sometimes you gotta leave work and you've gotta switch your phone off because you need a night out with your family. If we have a community that supports that, that becomes the norm and everyone benefits from it. Join us. And that is a great message. We all want to benefit from the Blue Zones Project, right, Tiffany? Can you give us an overview of the progress that the Blue Zones Project is making in Salinas, but also throughout Monterey County? Sure. Blue Zones Project Monterey County actually started in Salinas in June of 2019, which means that's when we did a big kickoff celebration to really engage the community within the life radius. So one of the things that we do with Blue Zones Project is we work within something called the life radius which is the 10 miles within which people live, work, and play. So really focusing on creating that environment of sustainable well-being that supports the healthy choice being the easy choice. So for us, that means that we work in multiple different areas. We work with people, hoping to engage individuals, whether it be in volunteering or a walking moai or some other activity. We work in what we refer to as places, which is work sites and school sites, restaurants and grocery stores. 
And then we also work very closely with um, city leaders and um, the county to support policies that would create a healthier environment. So, so far in the project countywide, that includes both the Salinas project, the most recent expansion uh, throughout Monterey County, and then some specific work in the um, cities of Marina, Monterey, and Seaside, we have 25 approved work sites. And what that means is those work sites have made a commitment to creating that environment within their work site which supports their employees, which supports the community. Um, additionally, we have 11 schools countywide that have been Blue Zones Project approved. And, and one of my favorite things is 13 restaurants. And, and the work that we do in restaurants is so important because people eat out, it's part of our nature. So mm -hmm. providing at least a healthy option on those menus in restaurants that are our favorites really does create the impact. And then yesterday we celebrated the approval of La Princesa on William Street, our first grocery store approval. And grocery stores are such a pivotal part of helping create that environment because it makes the healthy choice the easy choice. Mm -hmm. So I, I always say I know that we will be, I, I know success for us means I come home from work and I say, oh my gosh, we had this great program on Blue Zones Project. And my daughter says, oh, we learned about that in health class. We learned about the reduction of sugar sweetened beverages. And then we go out to our favorite restaurant and there's Blue Zones options or healthy options mm -hmm. on the menu. And then we stop at the grocery store and there's a healthy checkout lane. Right. So creating that environment where people live, work and play just to make it easier to kind of nudge us a little bit. And I believe there's a certain restaurant in Salinas that <laughs> named <laughs> a bowl after you. Can you tell us about that? Yes. So, so Mexican food is my downfall, <laughs> and I love it. I think it. we've been at that restaurant. I know at the same we time. have. I run into people that are all the time. So, I, I've always been kind of a meal modifier, just because I like to make things healthier when we eat out. And uh, so, Guadalajara Grill in Salinas. Um, we had been working with them, and as soon as they brought the menu in, I said, oh, I know exactly how we can make this dish. And I made the notes, and I said, just tell them it's Tiffany's bowl. It's the one that I always order. And so somehow it actually ended up on the menu as the Tiffany bowl, mm -hmm. and I still get a little bit of grief. I get emails or <laughs> um, little uh, pictures shot to me anytime somebody eats there. Okay. Well, I still haven't tried it, but my, next time I go there, I will do, I'll, so I will good. order it. So biased, but it's good. Good, good. Okay. Well, it's it's great to hear of all the prog progress that the Blue Zones Monterey County um, program is doing. So congratulations to you and your Thank team. You. Yeah. Well, it's a new year, and this is a good opportunity um, for all of us to you know make our health and our wellness uh, our priority. And the Blue Zones Project has a new program, Tiffany, that will help us achieve those very important goals. It's called the Live Longer, Better Rewards program and it also comes with an application or an app. Can you tell us about it? Sure. So the Live Longer Better Rewards program is is new to our community. Actually it's new to Blue Zones projects across the United States and really the goal of this is to make those small behavior changes as easy as possible for the community so that it's completely accessible. Um, the concepts on there are both in English and Spanish and simply people download it from their app store and you, you have the opportunity to earn rewards that happen at a local level. So when you go onto this app, you have the opportunity to take what's called the real age test, which really helps you identify your chronological age versus your actual age based on your health. And based on that, you then open up a whole other portal that has resources for you. So when you complete the real age test, your portal will have certain things to you. Mm -hmm. And mine will say, you need more sleep, or you need to meditate, or you need more movement. It actually tells you these are the behaviors that you have that are making you younger. Mm -hmm. And these are beha the behaviors that you really want to curb and, and maybe focus on um, decreasing the opportunity for things to get worse. So it's a great app in totality, but this new Live Longer Better Rewards program really makes it easy for individuals or work sites or school sites or even a group of people to come together. Uh, maybe your book club wants to do a challenge. Certainly using the app for that process is, is definitely something they can do. Good. Well, I'll be downloading it. And for the record, I do know my real age. I'm not going to share it, but I'm, I'm very happy with it, but I can always improve. So Yeah, we have a competition in the office. So when we do it, we always say, so what's your real age? Oh, <laughs> so what's your real name? Just kidding. You don't have to tell me that. No, but it's, it's, uh, it's a great program, and I, I'm looking forward to downloading it and, and seeing what happens. So I definitely want to work on my health and wellness. So. 
Um, how else can the Blue Zone uh, project help us achieve those uh, health goals in 2022? I think the biggest thing that, that Blue Zone's project brings to reality is that health and changing your health or changing the way you have the environment around you isn't about some huge monumental thing. Um, it's really the little things that make the biggest change. So there's a couple of ways we try to engage people on that individual level. As I mentioned, we work in people, which means providing things to individuals who may not be affiliated with a work site or a school site. So the first thing that people can do is sign the pledge. And what the pledge is, is really a pledge to yourself as the individual to say, based on my life, I'm committing to making five changes. And those five changes can be something as simple as bringing a pair of tennis shoes to work and putting them under your desk so that on your break, instead of going to get a coffee or scrolling through the mindless uh, social media scroll, you put on your shoes and, and take a walk for that 15 minutes. Uh, my favorite would be adopt a dog, but I'm still mm -hmm. pushing for that at the <laughs> DeTulio household. Um, other things like gardening or walking around your neighborhood to do an audit of sidewalks. So anything that gets you outside. I know as a mom, what I usually do is try to make as few as trips as possible up the stairs or from the car. Mm -hmm. and and. What you can do with blue zones is simple changes, making the multiple steps because that increases your natural movement. So the pledge I think is a great tool. It's an individual commitment to yourself. And um, these are just suggestions that we have. It can be something you know simple that I really love, have a conversation with an older adult. But another resource that, that literally just came out is the Blue Zones Challenge. And what this does is it takes elements from the pledge and really simplifies them into one book. And it also has space for you to journal and make your comments. So it's both an informational book, but it also is something where you can track your progress and make um, recommendations to yourself, commitments to yourself. Um, it can be I'm going to drink more water. Mm. It just simple, tiny things. I'm going to reduce my intake of sugar sweetened beverages. So it's not intended to say, and I think it's such a big misconception. Well, Blue Zones Project means you're vegetarian or you're vegan or you you only eat plants. And and really, what Plant Slant is all about with Blue Zones Project is finding a way to incorporate more fresh fruits and vegetables into your daily life. It's not about a takeaway. It's never a takeaway. It's really just having people be more thoughtful. A lot of times you'll, we've all done it, been at a restaurant with someone who salts their food before they even taste yes, it. That's yes. a default behavior. Yes. What Blue Zones tries to do is create that environment where it's a deliberate behavior. I'm making the choice to have a second soda versus an automatic refill. I'm making a choice to have water versus something else. So really just shifting the mindset to the tiny little changes that we can make as individuals to create a healthier lifestyle for ourselves. No, oh, that's great, that's great. And is that a book that somebody might um, be able to purchase or? So they are available on Amazon and we can certainly add them to our raffle here today. Okay, great, which we'll provide more information on that in just a little bit. Thank you, Tiffany, You're for welcome. that. Um, I do wanna show another video that just kind of goes back to what Tiffany was mentioning earlier about people coming together and becoming friends, that, that, that connectivity. Uh, in this video, you can see the Blue Zones team and many volunteers of all ages. Uh, they're very busy hiking on the weekends, getting some exercise. Um, they're doing all sorts of things. And um, as you can see there, Tiffany, there you are. <laughs> um, and even um, cooking. Uh, on this particular day, Ken Cookie Gopal and some of your staff made this delicious, healthy paella. And uh, it just shows that the Blue Zones Project is not only just a great program, but also a lot of fun. So there you have it. I think what's so fun about this video is it's the events and programs that we do, while they are Blue Zones specific, they're all things that our team members are passionate about. Genevieve has basically a home farm and loves to cook. So for her to connect with a chef and do this oh, kind of cooking time. demonstration or to lead a potluck moai, it, it brings her joy. Me, I hike every weekend. So for me to do a trail cleanup with volunteers while I'm hiking, it's just blending all the things that I like to do. So I think that's what's unique about everybody on the team is all of the colleagues kind of have that passion point. 
So for us to do the things that we love and bring people along is, is kind of fun. It's a lot of fun, as yeah. we clearly just saw in that video. I also want to talk about the workshops because you've been doing that, I think, since day one. Can you give us more information on that? Are they free? What do they focus on? Sure. So everything that Blue Zones Project does in the community is free for the community because of the support of our sponsors. So um, we don't sell anything. Um, we really just try to help people create that environment of well-being. So the workshops that you're talking about, um, one of them is called a purpose workshop. And a purpose workshop is about an hour and a half workshop. Um, we've been doing them in person. We've also provided them virtually. It's the same experience. And really what it does is it works with people and helps them to identify and really put words to those gifts that they have that, that bring value and kind of fill their soul. So it really helps them find their purpose. Mm -hmm. The goal of that workshop is for people to really identify what those things, those gifts that they like to give in the community, those things that they're doing when they lose track of time that really just make them feel good about themselves, identify and put a word to it and then create a statement that helps them make decisions about how they want to contribute that gift either to their family or their community. So for example, you might be creating humor or empowering others and, and maybe in doing your gift, it might be working with students. So whatever that gift is, um, people who participate in a purpose workshop then have the opportunity to participate in what's called a purpose moai. And really it takes that piece that focuses on your gifts and digs a lot deeper. And in a Purpose Moai, you meet with this group, it's usually a random group, uh, for one hour for 10 weeks. And I did not do a Purpose Moai until later last year, and I've been part of this project since 2018. And I will tell you, it was life-changing. It was really incredible to have the ability to dig deeper into purpose and how we apply it and what prevents us from making that the priority. It's, it's really a gift. It sounds very interesting. And actually, you can get more information about the Purpose Workshops um, on this website, which you see on the screen right now. It's info.bluezonesproject.com forward slash Monterey County. And you mentioned that earlier, Tiffany, the Live Longer Better Pledge. When you are on that website, you can actually sign the pledge. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Sure, so if you go on the website and you sign the pledge, not only is that your commitment to yourself and, and really your family, everyone in your family can sign the pledge. It really just helps you solidify what changes you're willing to make. But once you sign the pledge on the website, you'll also receive a newsletter, which we send out monthly, and it'll tell you all of the different events that are happening. It will direct you to opportunities to volunteer with your family. It will provide you information on uh, purpose workshops also um, help guide you in creating a potluck moai, which is a plant-based potluck moai. We did one virtually and it was an absolute blast. You don't get to taste everybody's recipe, but you can share them and sure. show each other how beautiful your meal is. Also volunteering. So all of our volunteer opportunities, and then you can follow and, and see what the traction is in your specific community, see which schools are being approved, what work sites are participating. Mm -hmm. And if you are part of a school or a work site, you're certainly welcome to uh, click the button that says add, you know, give us more information and then we can reach out to you to follow up. Great, great. Well, again, to sign that pledge and to get all that information that Tiffany just mentioned, please visit info.bluezonesproject.com forward slash Monterey County. You can also follow the Blue Zones Project Monterey County on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Well, Tiffany, thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun, and I, I thank you for your time here today. I know you're very, very busy, but I think um, you've made a wonderful case as to why the community should really be paying attention to their health, their wellness, and, of course, uh, Blue Zones Project. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Well, I would invite the community to visit us on our website and sign the pledge and stay informed and be engaged in the project. These types of community changes only happen when the community participates. And so far, we've had some incredible participation but we would love to see representation across the county. That's great. And it's it's been great even during this pandemic. Uh, interestingly so. enough, the pandemic provided us opportunities to work with schools in a whole different way. So it's, it, it's still moving. Yeah, that's great. Well, congratulations to you and your team. And we wish you and you at home a wonderful 2022. And we hope that you join the Blue Zones Project Monterey County. This video will stay right here on the hospital's Facebook page. Please like and share it. And we'll be back next month. Take care. Thank you.